coronavirus. Like, this shit got me scared, y'all. <laughs> you got the purse. He paid my bills. Yo, it's at work. You try it out. That should have been worse. You try it out. It's time to bring it back. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling because I picked up this camera and I'm like, okay, can I even do it? Can I even talk to my folks? Can, like, what's wrong with me? Like, my son is in the next room. They up in there cooking chicken. He sleep. So, I ain't trying to be too loud. So, I can't. I'm trying, like, not to holler or be loud. Be my loud self because I'm a loud person. Because if he hear me up here talking, he going to get up. But, um, to all my returning subscribers, hey y'all, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but I promise you will be getting a video from me every day, at least by 6 o'clock. So, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am expecting a kid. I'm 28 weeks. My due date is June the 24th, but today I ain't talking about all that. I came on here to talk about this coronavirus. Like, this shit got me scared, y'all. I ain't gonna say that I'm scared because at the end of the day, I believe in God. And I believe that when you put your faith in God, you don't supposed to worry about anything. So I'm not worried. I just want to take the precautions so I don't harm my unborn child or I don't harm my one-year-old, period. So if you guys see me looking down, yeah, I'm going to be looking at my little notebook. Yes, yeah, my notebook that I got <clears throat> for all my YouTube content. So, if you hear them hollering, that's because they're telling me to come get my chicken. And I'm like, I don't want to say I'm busy, but like, I am busy. <laughs> but as of now, they did move pregnant women to the high risk category risk category so as of now we are on the same list as the elderly the list or what but yeah we're on the high risk list they want us to be isolated for at least 12 weeks i stay in virginia and so stay at home order until june 10th so a lot of things have changed like me going to the doctors like my baby daddy like why are you trying to go to the doctor like you what you doing like you gonna you you trying to get sick that's what you try i'm like i still gotta go check up on the baby like i still gotta make sure everything's okay like the other day i had an ultrasound so i had to go to the hospital but i didn't know that i was going to the hospital i thought i was going to the ultrasound that they johnson willis they have like this ultrasound clinic not clinic but just where they have see people for ultrasounds and hospital instead so i did not know that because i probably wouldn't have went like i was supposed to um at my last obgyn appointment my physician she canceled um where i was delivering my baby at which is um, VCU, I was supposed to have her at VCU, but she told me no, because that's where a lot of people are gonna be at. So she suggested for me to do a home birth, but she said that she didn't know because, because we stay in a rural area and it's like one hospital for nine to eight counties. So that's where like all, all of us are going to go in the response time. The response time for like the ambulance and stuff, say something went wrong and we needed somebody urgently, the response time is not good. Like I remember my grandma ended up dying in my arms. Um, and that's why I got tattooed on me right here. <laughs> yeah, she ended up dying in my arms because the ambulance took two hours to get to us. 11 and things haven't changed. Yeah, things haven't changed, so we are. Uh, well, I'm having a baby at. We haven't decided now because we have to cancel everything. Um, they don't know for sure that, like, let's say if I had got COVID nineteen, they don't know if my unborn can get it while in the womb. Um, they said that it's easier. For 
to this but I say Y'all this is a stink bug up in here. Why? Get get I hate them things. That's the one thing I hate. But they said that it's easier for pregnant women to get the are constantly changing like Yeah. And then another thing, only one person is allowed in the delivery room with you. So the only person that's going to be able to be in there is my son, son's father. Well, my kid's father. So last time it was him, my mother, and my grandmother. But now, no, they cut all that out. And it's crazy because they stay with me like the whole time unless my kid's father had to go to work. You know, that was the only time he wasn't there. Okay, no one under 18 can come to the hospital at all, period, right now, unless they're getting tested or whatever. So, um, that's really hurtful because I wanted my son to, even though I don't, he's not going to remember this, I still want him to be able to, that, like, bond with us in the hospital. I didn't want to have to wait three days for him to meet his little sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I haven't been away from my son. Ever since he's been on this earth, I haven't been away from him. So, that's going to be real hard for me. I never spent the night away from him. Yes, I, the long as I've been away from him, probably was about five hours. Tops. So, that's going to be hard for me too. Because now, uh, yes, I'm going to be at the hospital, you know. And I know my son is going to be in good hands. But at the end of the day... I didn't want my first time not being able to, like, you know what I'm saying? To be with him is me. I wanted that to be a bonding moment for my family in general. I didn't want to take my son out the equation like that. I never imagined that. Like, I never even thought of that. That thought never came to my mind that he wasn't going to be able to visit us at the hospital. The question is, like, how are you other pregnant mommies out there feeling about this like what are you guys doing for labor for delivery like i haven't been shopping for liberty yet but i haven't been sh shopping for my baby yet because i was trying to wait towards the end you know once i got everything settled now it's like everything shut down so we are me getting all this stuff like can we still even deliver order on amazon and stuff like that <laughs> so like i haven't been going in the stores and stuff because they've been trying to like every time i go out my everybody just be like jabri you supposed to be in the house blah 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 blah, blah. so <laughs> so just comment down below and tell me guys how you guys are feeling about this so yeah it was nice talking to you don't forget to comment and tell me you follow me on Instagram at Jabri LaGrace. Yeah. Bye.